Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be looking at communication. And yes, this is a new topic we're underneath, okay? So communication. All right, first we're going to ask, what is communication? All right? So communication can be defined as imparting or exchanging of information by speaking, writing, or using some other medium, okay? Now, communication is about really sending and receiving information. Information might be communicated either verbally or non-verbally, right? Now, the process of communication, as you can see in the picture below, begins with the sender, which can be an you know, individual, group, and could be an organization as well, who you know, transmit a message. This is a content of the transmission, right? Now, the message is received by a recipient or receiver, right? Now, effective communication requires that, you know, the transmitted message has been received and understood, okay? Now, feedback is a response, you know, of a one of a kind, you know, of one kind of an or another. You understand? Now, feedback um, informs the sender that, the message has been successfully transmitted, right? So it has to be understood, right? Okay, so what we're going to be looking at next is nonverbal, um, verbal and nonverbal communication, right? And underneath it, we're going to look at, um, underneath the verbal and nonverbal, we'll be looking at body language, signs, encoding and decoding, all right? So... What do we mean by verbal and nonverbal? Okay. Now, verbal communication is the use of sounds and words to express yourself, while nonverbal communication is the use of our facial expression, just as, you know, eye contact, posture, and tone of voice. All right? So, that's what we understand about that. All right. All right. So, moving ahead. Now, Communication using either spoken or written words is known as, you know, verbal communication, as I said before. Now, spoken words are, you know, used in conversations in more formal settings, such as speeches and present presentations, right? Now, and also through dramatic presentations and songs, right? Now, communication that does not involve the use of words is nonverbal. And includes signals, signs, body language, mime, dance, sounds, and, you know, art forms such as painting and also sculpture. Right? All right. So moving on to next, body language. Body language. Now, this is a conscious and unconscious movement, right? Uh, and posture by which attitudes and feelings are communicated. Right? Now, humans communicate um, a huge amount of information with body posture, right? Body movements, gestures, and facial expression, right? Without a word being spoken, people are, you know, able to express emotions and to offer comfort and support through their own body movements, right? And also through touch, right? So, that's it for body language. Next up, we have... Signs. All right. What is this? This is signs are a piece of paper, wood, etc., with words or pictures on it that gives us information or instructions about something, or instruction about something rather. Right? No. We've seen them all the time. We've seen stop signs. We've seen you know go slow signs and all the rest of it. Right. So let us go deeper into it. Now, signs are um, used around the world in, you know, almost every situation from giving people directions, passing on information, or providing warning um, of others. Uh, you know, you know, you know those signs in our see, right? Words sometimes come, you know, sometimes form a part of signs, but in many cases, these are not needed, right? Now, what do we mean by this? Have you ever seen like, you know, the no smoking sign? That is also, you know, something like that. 
All right, as I said before, it, it doesn't necessarily need to have words on it. It can just be a sign. All right, all right. Encoding and decoding is somewhat we're going to look at it next. And encoding and decoding. What do we mean by this? Encoding and decoding is a transform translation. Sorry, of a message that is you know easily understood. When you decode a message, you're extracting the meaning of that message into terms that you know you are able to easily understand. Decoding as both verbal and nonverbal forms through communication. What do we mean by this? You don't necessarily have to have writing on a sign in order to understand or you know, because most persons cannot read. It's hard to say, but yes. So sometimes these are very helpful to them, right? So now encoding is a process of changing a piece of information into a series of symbols, really, right? Now written language is a form of code and the act of writing in the process of encoding information into letters and words. Now, in this way, reading is understood as, you know, reading is understood as decoding, right? Now, where the letters and words reveal the original information that the writer intended to communicate, right? Now, this process can be taken, you know, a little bit further and messages can, you know, be sent using other codes in circumstances in which writing an ordinary message would be impossible or difficult or the message is, you know, secret and only the sender and receiver should be able to understand it. Okay, guys? Now, that's the end of my video for today. Yes, it's a very short. But um, we'll continue on this. Um, next, we'll be looking at um, media of communication, right? So, thanks for watching my video. If you like, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to share, you can share it um, to other persons doing the same subject. And thanks for all my subscribers. And in order for you to know what I release, you can subscribe, okay? All right. Thank you, guys. Bye.